Hi, everyone. I'm John Tesh. And I'm Mary Hart. ABC is launching a secret weapon in the battle of the miniseries Sunday night, or rather a secret agent. The Bourne Identity stars Richard Chamberlain and Jacqueline Smith in a story about danger and desire. We're not used to seeing Jacqueline Smith in baggy, drab green overcoats, and she's not used to wearing them. What do you want, a medal? The truth. I don't know the truth. The truth is, it's hard not to associate Jacqueline Smith with the glamorous Kelly Garrett from Charlie's Angels. Hold that pose. Oh, boy. What's your name? Red Loomis. You know, Red, I think you'd make a great stud of the month. I think it's hard to fight the image because people didn't take it seriously. People tend to see you in that glamorous way and they don't want to change the image of you or their mind about you. And so you have to fight for that. In The Born Identity, Smith is fighting for her life when she's kidnapped by Richard Chamberlain's character, a man whose terrorist assassin life has been clouded by amnesia. But even through the peril, there is passion. Even at the very beginning, there's, there's something in him that she finds mesmerizing. And next! I sort of feel emotionally drained after a scene like that, but then also you can feel relieved. It's truly a love story, perhaps one of the most intense love stories I've ever done. When the rapport is there, I, I feel a tremendous rapport with Jacqueline Smith, for instance. I love working with her. And um, it makes everything so much more gratifying. Smith's gratification comes from her two small children, Gaston and Spencer Margaret. I have them here right now. They travel the world with me and they are number one um if i couldn't have them here i i must say i don't know i don't think i'd do too well her wholesome family image is not something she has to act i consider myself a person too of, of conservative values and and good values they were given to me as a child so that's something i thank my parents for the born identity airs sunday and monday nights on abc